KHQ in high definition. This is KHQ Local News at 6. Well, with 2.4 miles of swimming, 112 miles of biking, and a full marathon, every athlete in Ironman is an inspiration. Tonight, John Fritz and photojournalist Josh Godfrey introduces us to one local man who embodies the Ironman motto, anything is possible. This is where limits are left behind where mind-numbing distances define dedication, where perseverance is the only route to reward, Work out this morning. and where Mark Paxton spends untold hours preparing for. Yeah, I like life experiences and I like doing different things that are challenging, that challenge me. Since the week he finished his first Ironman last year, his leg work for this year was underway. He's an inspiration to me. I'm 45, I'm 10 years younger than him, and I don't, I don't know that I'll be doing this in 10 years. His commitment to complete the course consumes sometimes 20 hours per week. It's really a, a year-long process of training, working to get to the level of being able to finish the day. In so many words, a journey something Mark Paxton is accomplished at taking. You know, it's always a challenge trying to do surgery in third world uh, venues. For 20 years, Dr. Mark Paxton's travels have taken him to the poorest parts of Latin America, where two-day bus rides just for the potential to become a patient are commonplace. The vast majority of the population does not have access to care and they can't afford the care. So he's helped fix countless cleft flips and pallets, a volunteer effort through Hearts in Motion, a group whose mission is to help those who otherwise wouldn't have it. Routine lips and pallets are fairly straightforward cases, but it makes a huge difference in somebody's life to be able to speak and swallow and in Guatemala to go out in public. Amazing though, as many lives as he's changed, his life here has as much by those there. I certainly value those experiences in Latin America. And, uh, I think it certainly makes me appreciate every day more for what I have and what I have opportunities for here in the United States. Things like health care. Without it, he wouldn't be on his bike. Eleven years ago, his path to today took a turn. Doctors discovered stage three melanoma. The survival rate from a stage three melanoma is not very good. At five years, I think it's probably 80, 85 percent death rate. Aggressive surgery saved his life, but the removal of lymph nodes leaves his leg swollen and sore. It takes about everything I have to, to get through the day, so. Many of those hours preparing come in pain. It's a big surgery to go up near your pelvis and your groin and bladder and, and uh, do that, so it slowed me down quite a bit. Slowed down, maybe. Stopped, not a chance. He's an animal. I mean, the guy is 55 years old. He's had some health concerns and he just doesn't know when to quit. So come Sunday, he'll be here, pushing his limits, redefining his dedication, continuing his journey. I try to live every day to the fullest and I do as much as I can every day. And for a lot of us, it's finding a goal and something to work for to keep us going and keep us um, motivated every day. But I take every day as a gift. Oh, you're an inspiration to us all. Dr. Paxton credits his wife and his team, Team Blaze here in Spokane, as the driving forces behind his training. His number one goal, like all of the athletes, of course, is to finish. Have a great race, Dr. Paxton.